Okay, my uh, finance students are having a problem with this uh, problem that they're they're working on, and and the problem is Yahoo Finance has changed, and uh, this 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 problem is asking them to download the weekly stock price data for Target and Walmart for 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 the years of 2015, 2016, and 2017. And, and then part one asks for the adjusted closed prices. I want to calculate weekly returns. So when you go to Yahoo Finance, um, we can go ahead and put in, for instance, we can put in um, uh, target. TGT is target is the target uh, ticker. We put in TGT. And if we go to historical data, it has, it has a bunch of data here, but you can't download it anymore unless you go here. I don't think the free one you can download the data you have to pay and uh, most students are not really willing to pay that to work one problem so what, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how I would do it without to kind of get around the paywall I'm gonna show you a, a little bit harder way and then I'll show you a little bit easier way because um, sometimes things change in the future and maybe only the harder way will work in the future so anyway so we want to go uh, from uh, they want Remember the problem says uh, they want uh, the years 2015 through 2017. So um, so for our start, we want to go here and we'll go to, uh, let me just do it this way, 0, 01, 0, 01, 2015. That's where we want to start. And our end date will be 12, 31, 2017. Try that one more time. 12, 31, 2, 0, 1, 7. So the entire year of 2015. And then so let's just double check. 2015 says so done. Historical prices and we want uh, weekly. All right. Now, like I say, you can't download it. But one thing nice about Excel, I could highlight all this data. All the way to the bottom. And then when I'm on one of the blue spots, I can right click and go copy. And then I can go to Excel. And I can go ahead and paste it in. And I like to paste it as text. I don't know if that's really necessary, but I usually just paste it as text. And so this gives us all our data. And so the, so one, one thing about adjusted close, it folds in dividends, uh, the accounts for stock splits and whatnot. So the adjusted close is really a good one to use, and that's what the problem asks for. So I'm just going to delete all these other ones, and I'm going to delete the volume. And then, uh, so one thing we have here, we have these spaces here. I'm going to go ahead and just call this Walmart or Target TGT, okay? And um, and then what I'm going to do, I'll just do it for one of these, and you and you get the idea that if we're doing it for both of them, we would do, do something very similar. So what I'll do is first I'll just do a, a filter just to get rid of these blanks. So Excel's got you can filter using this data filter tab. That's like the old way to do it. The new way to do it is I just go equals filter. Most of you'll have this on your Excel if you have an up-to-date Excel. So I want to filter this array. I use shift and then the end key and then the down arrow. There's a couple ways to, to get all the data. I want to filter that array and I want to include where this array and we'll just go on 170 here. I'll just change that to 170 just to get them all. Um, where that array is not equal to a blank. Okay. And if I filter it and then of course these dates, these we want to be dates. So I'm just going to go home, copy the format and click on D to make all those dates. All right. Another thing I don't like, it goes from the, the newest to the oldest. I like to actually have it go from the oldest to the newest. So you might want to do this. You might want to just go ahead and go sort, wrap that filter in a sort. So I'm going to go sort. I'm going to sort what I just filtered. And, oh, and then, and then, uh, always oh, put sport instead of sort. Okay. Let's get rid of the P. So I want to sort, it says sort index, and by what, what column do we want to sort? We want to sort it by the date column, which is called the first column. So I'm going to go one, close the parentheses, and then, and then it sorts it. 
I can go ahead and go ahead and put this equals this. Copy that across. So now we have it. Now we have it uh, sorted. But these are prices, right? If I, I go ahead and put dollars here, this is dollars per share. That's what that really is. So, um, so, so they want the return on this is the price. So to calculate, we'll just do the. What they're looking for is the arithmetic return, or they're looking for this uh, periodic return. So I'm just gonna go equals. We can use the finance shortcut formula. Is this gonna be the older or the newer divided by the older one minus one? You'll notice that uh, I, I lost one day, right? Because I need the day before. So you lose one day in your data when you do that. You know, double click. And I get to send that down. And now I have the returns. Let me put the formula in here. Okay. And then let me put the formula for this, this so you can see it. All right. Um, so they wanted Walmart, right? So we probably, we, I can't solve this problem, but the way I get the average return, I would just go, equals average and then highlight all these shift in down so if that was walmart that would be my average return okay um now depending on the problem the problem might want it in a decimal so I, we could just hit this little comma to make a decimal there it would be a decimal or percent however 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 the book wants it uh, it looks like here it just wants a decimal so i would just go comma and then five decimal places so that would be the answer if this was Walmart. We just did Target, all right? Now, so that's one way to do it. Now, an easier way to do it, and I don't know how long this will work since uh, Yahoo has put that downloading data behind a paywall, but an easier way to do it is if you go, uh, if you go out to, I, I like to go to this website called Bulk Stock Downloader. And this first one that comes up, this Jason Strimple one, I like that. And it's kind of nice because you could just put your put your tickers in here. So I'll go TGT and WMT for Walmart. And it already has adjusted close. We want to make sure we change this to weekly in this case. And we're going to go from January uh, 1st, 2015 to December. 31st 2017 and everything else is pretty much uh you can just take the defaults um and then just go get series and what's nice is it'll get both of them at once it goes got both target and walmart i click on this to download it and one thing it doesn't like it because it's insecure so I, I trust this website so i'm gonna go keep and open it up And I'm going to go enable editing. Now I'm going to go ahead and just copy that into my other, into my other web sheet or worksheets or workbook. So I'm going to right click here, go move or copy, uh, create a copy. I'm going to move it into that other book. I didn't name that other one. It was called book one for now. And we'll move it to the end and go. Okay. Okay. So now you can see this is my original one and this is the new one. And we can copy this problem over to the, let me just copy that, copy. I can close this other one. I don't need it anymore. And, uh, uh, so I'm going to copy this and then paste it here so I can see it again. Let me zoom in so you can see what's going on. So again, I could do the average return. So I could do the average return for both of these equals this and then go equals this divided by this minus one, copy it over, send it down since they want a decimal. So I could do the, I could go here and just do kind of do like a summary of statistics here. Again, I'll go equals TGT, copy that across. And we'll call average average return and go equals average again we're going to get target first 
and we can get Walmart. So the answer to that is we take that to five places again. So that's five places, 0 0.00150. So the average return for Walmart is what it's asking for is 0 0.00150. So let's go back to our problem. Point zero zero one five zero, and submit it. And it got point zero zero one five zero two, but close enough. All right. So there might be a little bit of difference in the back when they download. Who knows? A little bit of rounding error or something. So standard deviation you do very similar way. So like I say, uh, that uh, that bulk stock downloader. I don't know how long that'll work, but right now it works and it's kind of handy program to use. So anyway, hopefully that helps. If you like this video, my picture will come up here. And if you click on my picture, if you have to subscribe, it'll subscribe you. Give me a thumbs up if you like it. Add, add any comments. And uh, thanks for watching. That's it for today. Bye.